This next segment of the head gasket video is basically just to encourage you to make sure that you're prepared to install your head. Make sure everything is clean. Make sure everything is in good repair. While you got this motor torn apart, this is the best time to replace parts that are worn or parts that are hard to access with the motor in place. Okay, whenever you remove a head, next to not over torquing your head bolts, one of the most important things you need to understand and realize when putting a head back on is that this surface of the head, which is the bottom surface, and the top surface of the block has to be pretty much spotless clean. If you don't make sure that these surfaces are spotless clean, the new head gasket won't seat right and create the seal that it needs to create and you'll have a head gasket leak in no time. You may start off with a head gasket leak. So what you have to do is spend time, and it took me about, uh, man, two, almost three hours to get the surface of my block clean. Now, I sent my head to the shop, so the shop actually cleaned my head. When I got it back, it was spotless. They also, because it was warped, they planed it down. When they planed it down, metal shavings got into these holes, and they didn't tell me that. I found out when I got the head back, I had the head standing up, it fell down on the towel I had it sitting on. When I lifted it back up, I seen the metal shavings. So, you, when you get a head back, rinse out these holes to make sure that there's no metal shavings in the motor. Because coolant and oil has to go through these passages. If there's metal shavings in there, those metal shavings could contaminate your coolant and get into your system and then you'll have problems with those metal shavings eating up a water pump or some seal or something like that. Whenever you pull your head, there's two guides that hopefully are still in the block. If they're not in the block, pull them out of the head and put them back in the block where they belong. When I looked at the gasket that came off and the gasket that went back on, I think the wrong gasket was put on before mine. You see that little yellow circle has a little hole in it. That hole was missing from the old gasket. Now it's time to clean everything up in the block to get it ready for the new gasket and the head to go back on. As you can see, I got the turbo intake stuff with a rag. My gasket came off pretty easy because it was probably only on there about four years. You also want to check your exhaust manifold and stuff real good. Make sure it isn't cracked and damaged. Mine was cracked, but I didn't see it till I was going back in. This would also be a good time to replace coolant lines on your turbo and your coolant lines running behind the motor. And when you clean your block and stuff off, remember, do not use the Scotch-Brite scouring pads. They leave microscopic particles in your motor that can destroy your motor in a matter of a few hundred miles. So, uh, use gasket remover use some uh, plastic credit cards nothing harder than the metal of the block and make sure you get everything cleaned and dry and I stuffed things down in the ports and removed it whenever I went to uh, finish up the job okay when you're cleaning off the surface of the head the block the cam cover uh, I recommend uh, like here, there's some gasket still there. Never try to scrape this with any material that's harder than the material of the head. This is a soft aluminum head, so if you're going to do any scraping, use plastic scrapers and, and uh, chemicals to get this head clean or the block clean. You put the material on there, you let it sit, you scrape it off with plastic. A lot of people use like old credit cards to scrape the uh, gasket material and and other stuff off of the surfaces so that they can be clean and spotless once you get everything all the gasket material removed all this line around here is gasket material once you get all that removed you want to wipe it down with acetone acetone will make it oil free 
nice, clean, and dry. Now, some people, when they put their head gasket on, they like to uh, use some stuff called copper coating, and they spray both sides of the gasket with that copper coating. That is not necessary to do with these Volvos. I don't know if it is on other cars, but these Volvos, it is not. Now, when I cleaned the block, I actually took some uh, paper towels or something and put them down these coolant ports so that when I uh, cleaned it with the chemicals, a lot of the chemicals didn't go down into the uh, block and contaminate the uh, coolant passages. Uh, as you can see, this head has been off of this car about a week and the piston walls are already starting to rust because this hood is open it's not protected from the elements and i think it rained a time or two so you want to make sure if you're going to leave this head off for a little while that you keep those uh, piston walls uh, oiled and cover it with plastic or something to keep them from rusting this shows a picture of uh, me stuffing the piston areas and the coolant passages ports and oil ports with uh i think i use those blue shop towel paper towel type things take your time make sure this stuff gets cleaned up real good use gasket maker and uh, gasket cleaner remover and other uh, chemicals to get the block clean but don't use anything that'll uh, damage your uh, block this picture shows my block clean with all the stuff removed from it and dried out. If you have a vacuum handy, vacuum the stuff out. And if you plan on replacing any of your timing components or your PCV system, now's the time to do that. You got easy access to all that stuff. If you didn't send your cam cover to the shop with the head, you missed a good opportunity to get a real good cleaning just about free. But anyway, if you still have it with you, you need to clean that up real good as well. Now, if you're planning on doing something like painting your cam cover, now's the time to uh, do it. And if you send it to the shop, tell them that you're planning on painting it so they can clean the, the top side of it as well. The rest of these related videos are linked in the body of the uh, text for this video here. If you feel that this information was beneficial, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can also subscribe to my channel so that you can get notification of future videos that I post. Visit my channel. I have all types of do-it-yourself videos there. You can leave questions here and I'll try to respond to them as quick as possible. You can also visit my website at robertspinner.com. Thanks again for watching.